So today I'm going to be covering how you can load a saved castle from one of your other villages into your new village, which means you won't have to build the entire castle again from scratch because that takes a bit more time than doing it this way. So here we have my new village. Now, as you can see, I, I started a bit of a castle. So to do this tutorial, I am just going to delete the whole thing. There we go. Now I need to go to my the castle design that I want to use for my new village. So I like this design right here. So what I'm going to do is going to advanced options and then I'm going to choose to memorize the infrastructure. Now I have memorized the infrastructure previous to this as you can see because the in restore infrastructure button is enabled but by memorizing it again this the file that uh, holds the information for this castle will rise to the top of the folder that these files are stored in so it'll be easy to find. So I'm going to click memorize infrastructure there we go and now I'm going to bring up Windows Explorer. <clears throat> refresh this window and then choose to sort by date modified so if we zoom all the way up there we go the name of the file is castle infra and then it will be followed by a number that corresponds to something about the game something about the village but we don't really know what it is now the important thing is we need this file for later so I'm going to cut this file it's okay if we lose it because we can always memorize it again and I'm going to find I created a new folder inside this folder now okay I'm putting the cart a bit ahead of the horse here now you're probably wondering where this folder is because I already opened it up and everything well I will be including a link to this uh, this directory in the description below this video basically what you do open up file explorer click computer then you get you know this PC it should show you an overview of the different drives on your PC. Choose the disk that your operating system is installed on. It is usually called C. It may be called Windows 7. It may be called Windows 10. It depends upon what operating system you're running it on. Mine is called Windows 7 even though I'm running Windows 10 Technical Preview. Then navigate to the Users folder, the immediate one inside that disk. Once you open that disk up, then whatever your username is so users if you're you have a username stronghold that would be the username in that user folder you have another folder called app data if you do not see the app data folder it is because you have elected to hide hidden files on your operating system it is a thing with Microsoft yes yes it is what you want to do is change folder and search options now this is for Windows 8 and later uh, Windows 7 it's a little bit different but you should be able to find it so what you basically want to do is get this dialog open here the folder options and then click the view tab and make sure here under hidden files and folders you have selected show hidden files folders and drives click apply click OK and then you should be able to find the app data folder in once you're in the app, app data folder navigate to the roaming folder and inside the roaming folder you will find a Firefly Studios folder inside the Firefly Studios folder is the Stronghold Kingdoms folder and inside the Stronghold Kingdoms folder is the juicy data that we are interested in so I already cut the file the castle infrastructure file as I saw it before and then I'm, I created a new folder inside the Stronghold Kingdoms folder and I'm, I'm just leaving it named new folder I'm going to paste the new file in here now how we're going to go about loading it into my new village is we're going to open up my new village and then we're going to place something in it because right off the bat you can't memorize an empty village and we need to know the number for this village so usually the best thing to place is a stone wall because later on things can be easily placed over it so we're just going to place a stone wall like that and then we're going to go to advanced options and we're choosing to memorize the infrastructure again now that the infrastructure is memorized for this castle open up the same folder I just I just minimized it to the taskbar so I can quickly do it and you'll notice another castle infrastructure file has been created and has floated to the top of the date modified list now what we need to do is remember this number here because it is going to be needed to rename our old castle infrastructure file in the new folder uh, folder so what I'm just going to do is oops there we go I've selected it using shift and I'm going to hit control C to copy 
that bit of text. I'm not going to actually rename the one here, but then I'm going to go to new folder and then I'm going to choose to rename this. And I'll just delete that old number. Control V to paste the new number in. You can just also cl right click and hit paste. And now we have a file. We have this file named after our new village number, but it has the old village castle data. So now I'm going to go back up to the new file, delete this, because we're going to be replacing it with the file that we just renamed. So we're gonna hit Control X to cut it. You can also just hit cut right there, but I'm a bigger fan of the keyboard. And then once you're back in the Stronghold Kingdoms folder, Control V to paste it. Or, or just hit paste, whatever. Whatever floats your boat. Once that's done, we should now be able to load the castle inside, we should be able to load the old castle inside this new village. Just to make sure here, we are on the new village. Go to the castle, click restore infrastructure. And as you can see, the infrastructure for that old castle is beginning to be restored. Now, it is restored in the order you originally built it in, which means that you'll have, depending upon how you built it, it will prioritize placing those first depending upon the stocks you have because unless you have a stockpile card in play you won't be able to build most castles in one go there, there isn't enough you know it requires more than a hundred and sixty two thousand stone to complete a full castle now one thing that should be noted here however is the prioritization of building them in other words the way in which the game actually prioritizes which buildings get built first is at default uh, I forget which ones exactly do build first, but it will not be built in the order you place them in in the other village. It it prioritizes guard houses first, I think, and then it moves on to other things. So it will change in that sense, and you know you might want to ID the village or interdict it until you get some basic defenses up, so that basically the enemy AI isn't just attacking your village and sort of destroying that early progress right away. But the point here is, this is how you load an old castle design from a different village into a new village. And it can save you a lot of time because, as you can see here, I'm not going to have to bother designing anything. I can just click confirm and it's going to start building right away. And if I don't have enough stone, I can always wait until I get more. I can ship more to my village and once I have it, I just do the same thing. Click restore infrastructure and it'll add more to the castle all the time. So this is a great way to, you know rapidly deploy castles into new villages for building without you know it taking 15 minutes of your time to design the whole thing and <clears throat> the great thing about it is once you get what you the, the kind of castle you really like you can basically just copy paste that into any village you want uh, in addition to the the description for the file folder I'll also be linking to a guide I wrote on Steam which basically steps you through the entire process as well in case you sort of got lost in this video that guide should clear it right up anyway I hope you found this video insightful thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you next time Stronghold Kingdoms the battle has just begun